Through the years, a lot of people have asked me, is Warren Beatty perfect? Yes. Um, he, he has, not flaws, because Warren is flawless, but he has, he has idiosyncrasies. When Warren is going to present a project to you that he's going to do, he, he manages to make it sound as crazy as possible. So when I first met him and he, he, uh, he wanted me to do Heaven Can Wait, and this is how he presented it, he said, um, it's a remake, and uh, I'm not going to be in it. I'm, I'm putting this together as a starring vehicle for Muhammad Ali. And it's about a boxer who, he dies and he goes to heaven, but it's a mistake, so they bring him back. But his body has been cremated, so they put him in the body of a CEO whose wife has just murdered him, and then the CEO comes back. And when the CEO comes back, everybody in the movie sees the CEO as the CEO, but the audience sees the CEO as Muhammad Ali. And then Muhammad Ali meets a girl, and then a boxer dies and he goes into his body. It's a love story. <laughs> and every, every, everybody turned it down. And, and Warren had, had never directed, and I said to him, look, you know, he actually said to me, we may have to get somebody second rate. <laughs> and I said, you direct it. You have to direct it. I mean, you, you said you wanted to direct it. And he said, no, because the first project I'm going to direct is about this communist who is a journalist who was born in the late 1880s. <laughs> so the second common turn, he marries another communist. He goes back to it. And he's the only American communist who's buried with the history of whatever. <laughs> so I think actually Warren gives crazy a good name. And, and I think that this award, this very, it's a very prestigious award and a little scary. Um, and I think it probably is it's given to Warren early because I think that Warren has got a lot more achievements in his lifetime, because I feel that he's still crazy after all these years.